So very quickly, what is the solution to the problem overall? If you walk out of here today and someone says to you, what is the solution to the Muslim suffering? What is the solution to Aleppo? You will give them this answer here today. In the hadith narrated by Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma, which is found in Sunnah Nabi Dawood, we find that he said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if you start to do riba, deal in ina, which is a form of riba, and you become pleased with this dunya, and you leave off striving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sallatallahu alaykum dhulla, Allah will send humiliation upon all of you. These are all sins. Riba, being pleased with the dunya, and so on and so forth. These are all major sins. The abandoned striving in the path of Allah, these are all major sins. And what's worse than major sins, the bid'ah and the shirk, which the Prophet didn't even mention. But just for these major sins, the Prophet says, Sallallahu alaykum dhullah. Allah will send humiliation upon all of you. La yanzi'uhu and Allah will not remove it. Hatta tarji'u ila deenikum until you all come back to your religion. Brothers and sisters, the solution is to come back to the religion. But let's get a bit more specific. Let's get a bit more specific because everyone claims to have the religion. Every sect. Every group, every hizb, every firq, every single sect in Islam says we are the religion. Here is the religion. They will open the door to their masjid and say come celebrate Maulid or come do this or come do that or come protest. So what is the religion? There is another hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam narrated by Imam al-Tabarani and Imam al-Bayhaqi in which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained what he meant when he said Hatta tarji'u ila deenikum until you come back to religion. What religion? Whose religion? Whose understanding of the religion? And the Prophet said, Tarji'una ila amrikum al awwal. Return back to your original affairs. Amrikum al awwal. Remember this word, awwal, awwal. Who were the first? Come back to what you were first upon. The understanding you were upon originally. The religion that was originally the religion. Come back to that. Who were these awwal, awwaleen? Who are they? Go to Surah Tawbah. Again, see the Quran and the Sunnah. Perfect harmony they go in. Go to Surah Tawbah. Open up Ayah 100. Read it with me if you will. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَالسَّابِقُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ Allah said right at the beginning. The Prophet said, تَرْجِعُونَ إِلَىٰ أَمْرِكُمْ وَلْ Say it. Al-awwal. Come back to your original affairs. They beat us all. Awalu. They were first before any of us. Who are they? Muhajireen and the Ansar. Who are the Muhajireen? The Sahaba who left Mecca. Who are the Ansar? The Sahaba who helped them when they came to Medina. Right at the beginning of the Sahaba. Of the Prophet Sallam. Is it just them? No. وَالَّذِينَ تَبَعُوهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ And those who followed them. In other words, the Tabi'een. Who are the Tabi'een? The students of the Sahaba. And who are the ones who came after the Tabi'i? The students of the students of the Sahaba. What are these three generations called? The Salaf. They called what? The Salaf. So when the Prophet said, Tarji'una ila amrikum al awwal, come back to the religion, the way it was understood by the Salaf. Sahaba. So the solution, brothers and sisters, Quran and Sunnah, Al Islam, upon the understanding and the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah. <coughs> there is no way you're going to reach the Sunnah of the Prophet until you go to his companions. And you can't get to the companions until you go to the students and their students. Imam al Bukhari, how did he compile all this? He went to those above him. And we have to go to Imam Bukhari, who's from the Salaf, and so on and so forth. So, brothers and sisters, the answer to the solution. The problems of this ummah is salafiyya. It means Allah sent the messenger with beneficial knowledge. Wadeen al haq And that knowledge must be implemented. Why? لِيُظْهِرَهُ عَلَى الدِّينِ كُلِّهِ وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا So that this entire religion can become victorious over all other religions.